The Battle of Ebro River was a naval battle fought near the mouth of Ebro River in the spring of 217 BC between a Carthaginian fleet of approximately 27 quinquerums, under the command of Himilco, and a Roman fleet of 55 ships, under Gnaeus Cornelius Scipio Calvus. Posdrubal Barca, the Carthaginian commander in Iberia, had launched a joint expedition to destroy the Roman base north of the Ebro River. The Carthaginian naval contingent was totally defeated after a surprise attack by the Roman ships, losing 29 ships and the control of seas around Iberia. The reputation of the Romans was further enhanced in Iberia after this victory, causing rebellion among some of the Iberian tribes under Carthaginian control. Chapter 1 Prelude After Hanno's defeat in the Battle of Sissa in the winter of 218 BC, Gnaeus Scipio had spent his time consolidating his hold on the Iberian regions north of the Ebro, evading the Iberian territory of Carthage south of the Ebro from his base at Toraco. He had received no major reinforcements, from Rome to augment his forces. Meanwhile, Posdrubal Barca, the Carthaginian commander in Iberia, had raised a number of Iberian levies to expand his army substantially. The Punic naval contingent in Iberia contained 32 quinquerums and 5 triremes in 218 BC, when Hannibal had departed from Iberia. During the winter of 218 BC, Posdrubal had added a further 10 quinquerums to this fleet and trained additional crews to man them. In the spring of 217 BC, Posdrubal mounted a joint expedition towards the Roman territory north of the Ebro. Posdrubal himself commanded the army, the exact number of which is unknown, and his deputy Himilco led the fleet. The expedition followed the coastline, with the ships beaching beside the army at night. Gnaeus Scipio, fearing that the Carthaginian army outnumbered his own, resolved to fight a naval battle. Although he could only man thirty-five quinquerums, the allied Greek city of Massilia had provided twenty ships for his fleet. Chapter 2 Battle after reaching the Ebro River, the Carthaginian fleet anchored near the estuary. The sailors and crew left their ships for foraging, as the fleet lacked transports carrying provisions. Although Hosdrubal had posted scouts to detect the activities of the Romans, Himilco had no ships out at sea scouting for Roman ships. A pair of Massalian ships located the Punic fleet as it lay at anchor, and slipped away undetected to warn Gnaeus of the Carthaginian presence. The Roman fleet sailed from Toraco, and was positioned only ten miles to the north of the Carthaginian position when the warnings reached Gnaeus Scipio. Gnaeus manned his ships with picked legionaries, and now sailed down to attack the Punic fleet. Posdrubal's army scouts detected the approaching Roman fleet before the Punic navy and warned their fleet of the coming danger through fire signals. Most of the crews had been foraging, and they hastily had to man their ships and sail out in a disorderly manner. There was little coordination and some ships were undermanned because of the surprise achieved by the Romans. As Himilco sailed out, Osdrubal drew up his army on the shore to give encouragement to his fleet. Not only did the Romans have the advantage of total surprise and numbers, but the combat effectiveness of the Carthaginians is not reflected in the number of ships as one quarter of their fleet had newly trained crew. The Romans formed two lines with the 35 Roman ships in front and the 20 Massalian ships behind them, with the formation and the naval skill of the Massalians nullifying the superior maneuverability of the Carthaginian fleet. The Romans engaged the Carthaginian ships as they came out of the river, ramming and sinking four of them and boarding and capturing two more. The Carthaginian crews then lost heart, beached their ships and sought safety among the army. The Romans grappled and hauled away twenty-three of the beached ships. Chapter 3 Aftermath and Importance The defeat proved to be decisive in the long run. Posdrubal was obliged to march back to Cartagena, fearing seaborne attacks on Carthaginian territories. With the Iberian contingent of the Carthaginian navy shattered, Posdrubal was forced to either call Carthage for reinforcements or build new ships. He did neither. The performance of the Iberian crews had been poor in the battle, and their dismissal would spark a rebellion in the Turdetani tribe, 
forcing Carthage to send 4,000 infantry and 500 cavalry to Hosdrubal. Hosdrubal would spend all of 216 BC subduing the rebels. In 217 BC, the main Carthaginian fleet captured a supply fleet headed for Iberia off Cossa in Italy. Publius Cornelius Scipio arrived in Iberia with 8,000 soldiers in the fall of that year with instructions from the Roman Senate to prevent any help from reaching Hannibal in Italy from Iberia. This is the only reinforcement the Roman Republic would send to Iberia before 211 BC. The Scipio brothers would raid Carthaginian Iberia, and meet Osdrubal at the Battle of Detosa in 215 BC. Gnaeus Scipio had ensured that Roman seaborne supplies would not be intercepted by Carthaginian ships based in Iberia, and that the Roman fleet in Iberia could raid the Carthaginian domain at will. The only major naval expedition against the Romans from Iberia would be that of Mago Barca to Italy in 204 BC. Chapter 4 Sources Bagnal, Nigel. The Punic Wars. ISBN 0312-34214-4. Cottrell, Leonard. Hannibal, Enemy of Rome. De Capo Press. ISBN 0306804980. Lazenby, John Francis. Hannibal's War. Aris and Phillips. ISBN 085668-080-X. Goldsworthy, Adrian. The Fall of Carthage. Castle Military Paperbacks. ISBN 0304-36642-0. Petty, John. Hannibal's War. Sutton Publishing Limited. ISBN 0705093797-1. Lancel, Serge. Hannibal. Blackwell Publishers. ISBN 0631-21848-3. Baker, G. P. Hannibal. Cooper Square Press. ISBN 0815451050.